happy birthday, Pisces. GD coming at you for the first week of March. For your love reading, I wrote a blog for the new moon energies for the last week of February. You can find it down below if you feel so inclined to read it. I also have a link if you would like to donate to the channel. My information is down there as well if you would like to email for a personal private reading. This is for Pisces for the first week of March. I predominantly read for love. Okay, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Like, share, subscribe. This is just going to be a, far, a four card reading. We're going to look at the situation, the obstacle, the advice. And an overall for Pisces for the first week of March. And this will be for singles and or couples, anybody that you are energetically connected with. the situation card all right you could be dealing with a marriage of some sort or some sort of commitment this could also be legalities it's tax season you could be dealing with some spiritual higher understanding or complication you could be questioning your spirituality you could be questioning the commitment uh, again it is tax season this could be uh, a combination of all of the above if it connects with you take it how it resonates with you it is a five so it is an obstacle and it is a five in the reverse so you could be dealing with uh, coming together with your partner as it relates to finances as it relates to the commitment as it relates to the understanding of such confusion Okay. That's the overall situation. What is the obstacle for Pisces? Please look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. For further information, what is the obstacle, please, for, v uh, for Pisces? I'm sorry for the shuffling, guys. Sorry. Thank you. Alright, the Hierophant is considered Taurus. You could also be dealing with a Virgo or Capricorn. Money issues overall. You do have as the obstacle the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Slow moving Knight. Very slow moving. Uh, for, it takes forever. The Knight of Pentacles takes forever to get to its destination. So the obstacle could be money. You could be waiting for money to come in. It doesn't have to be waiting for that commitment to come in. Right? You could be waiting for the answer uh, from your partner. Pisces, again, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Sitting around, wondering, waiting. Waiting for this higher fan. Waiting for this commitment. Waiting for money. It's fighting over money. Fighting over... Uh, it could be argument, it could be just stagnation, all right? That could be the obstacle here with the situation being this hierophant in reverse. What's the advice? The advice is the ace of pentacles, more pentacles, all right? The ace is a new beginning. The ace is the hand of God. Here, uh, with the pentacle, it's tangibility. It is, this knight is coming in, the obstacle here is, is coming in on the horse, not moving, bringing the hand right here, okay? So, if the obstacle here is waiting for the advice all right so we want this this is 
the the overall situation is this commitment in reverse, this hierarchy in reverse. Again, this could be money or this could be you, Pisces, as a love reading, waiting for this commitment, all right? Waiting for this to happen. Taurus, Virgos, Capricorn, um, the obstacle, it not coming in or not, it not coming in fast enough, all right? Or it, you just, it, it being stagnant, there being a delay of some sort. And the advice, you know, just being patient in, 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 I'm sensing, and I'm waiting until I get to this, the overall, which let's see what the bottom of the deck is real quick. Oh, look at this. The lovers, oh, excuse me, the two of cups, which I, I always sense is a Leo card. I, I feel it's, it's Leo, just with the, it's just my Leo card. So, you know, Pisces, this patience here, it, it, this is your love reading. I, when I look at the, the Ace of Pentacles, to me, that's, it symbolizes the sun coming in. The patience of this, this Knight of Pentacles is always the slowest Knight in the deck. It's the only horse that isn't moving. Um, Earth signs take a long time. Uh, Virgos, Capricorn, Virgo, Virgo, dare I say, if you're dealing with a Virgo, take forever to get to their destination. But when they do, they're the most tangible, solid commitment. Okay? So this is this is a soulmate here, without a doubt. I'm sensing here with this Ace of Pentacles come the summer. This will be something that you can sink your teeth into. Sink your teeth into whatever that. Um, I'm going to pull that out because I like it. And I like one more card, please, for Pisces. One more for Pisces. So I just, I guess, hold out. Is be patient. You know, this to me is, is, is very. Summary, I love it. You know, it's like spring and summer. I mean, those are for the Pisces. Again, you don't have to be dealing with a Virgo, um, Taurus, or, or Capricorn. But if you are, the lovers or a Gemini. So, you know, we're coming up on Gemini season too. So, you know, you very well could be. You know, have two to, to uh, choose from. That might be one of the reasons why the, the situation is a hard in, in, in reverse. There could be, you know, two lovers here that that we need to choose from with the lovers card and and the two of cups. I'm sensing that uh, for some of you Pisces, you definitely have. <sighs> definitely have a very strong soulmate connection here. So that's your love reading for the first week of March. Thank you very much. Um, please do like, share, subscribe to this channel, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Ciao for now.